Okay, so major life events and economic factors in just under five minutes. So economic factors, now this is, is to do with money. So anything that relates to money, including it, it affects health, education, employment, and lifestyle. As my boy Snoop says, you know, mind on my money, money on my mind. So the groups that are most likely to experience low income and poverty would be lone parents, the unemployed, older people, people with long term sickness and disabilities and families with one wage earner or those in unskilled employments. The impact of low income, as Paxson and Dixon highlights, that children who grew up in the 70s living in poverty, often underachieved academically, were less likely to go to uni and were more likely to be victims of crime or live in polluted areas or risk dying young. When it comes to diet and lifestyle, money is, is really significant. So the higher your income, the more money you have, the more accessible healthy lifestyles become. So whether that's healthy diet, healthy food or being able to pay for gym membership and exercise. There's also likelihoods uh, is higher of excessive alcohol consumption and smoking in lower social classes, also along with higher likelihood of using drugs. Now, that's not to say that having lots of money can also mean that your health and lifestyle is going to be better because obviously higher income means more accessible uh, access to fast food and, and poor diet. So there are sort of some negative impacts of having a lot of money when it comes to health. But generally, the benefits outweigh the potential risks. And when it comes to employment as well, the higher your job, the higher your income, the higher chance of that job being more stable and more secure, which lowers risk of stress and, and all those kind of factors, uh, particularly compared to lower skilled jobs. Also, self-esteem and self-worth, very, very significantly affected by the status of your job. So the higher your job status, the higher your self-worth and self-esteem. But, you know, to higher status jobs, they could be more stressful, which can negatively affect health. And then we've got major life events. Now, major life events, or LME, MLEs are events that are most likely to occur in our lifetime. These can be predictable and unpredictable. Life events generally, just as an example, so we move in house, start in school, marriage, start in a family, getting divorced, leaving home. These will all be life events, things that occur in your lifetime. Now, predictable life events are events that you can potentially anticipate are going to happen. You can be prepared for them. You know, starting school, getting a job, leaving home having children. These are generally predictable for most people. They can be anticipated. You get some preparation time and they're generally positive. They will either have a significantly positive impact on self-development or, or self-esteem or your life course. Unpredictable life events, on the other hand, are, are ones that you can't predict happening. These ones that happen with little or no warning. They are generally seen as negative they reduce your self-esteem, they reduce your confidence, and they will generally have a negative impact potentially on your health. So how do we measure major life events? Now, the Holmes Ray Social Readjustment Rating Scale, that's one measurement we use. So that lists 43 life events that you would look through the list, you would tick off how many have occurred to you in the previous year, and that each event has a score. So on, on very high scores for more major events, lower scores for less significant and you total up your score and it puts you in a range of whether you've got a 20% chance of developing an illness, uh, a 50% chance and 80% chance based on your score. So the higher your score, the more likely you are to develop an illness as a result of major life events. And the effect of them, now the biggest effect, major life events, they cause stress. Stress is the effect or what is caused by major life events. And stress can affect us in a number of ways. So headaches, migraines, leads to mental health problems, anxiety, heart conditions, digestive problems, high blood pressure and sleeping difficulties. So when it comes to major life events, they all effectively come back and cause stress. And then that stress has a physical impact on the body. And there we have it, economic factors and major life events in just under five minutes.